Hi and welcome to Friendly Plastic TV. I'm your host Linda Peterson. This is the time of year that we think a lot about spending time with family and friends. And today's project I have a great way to add a touch of whimsy to your party. We're going to be creating wine glass charms with Friendly Plastic. It's quick, it's economical, and it's easy. So join me in the studio and I'll show you how. I have heated these strips here with my heat tool uh, until they are good and um, soft and you can tell that they're ready to go when you can press a little fingerprint inside the plastic. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your small mini cookie cutters and you're just going to set them right down and cut out these shapes. I have one here that's a mitten. For the mitten, you can see that I've got a color of blue here and I have a little strip of white. And so you'll want to cut out the band of the mitten out of white. And we're going to let this cool. So once these were cooled, um, I popped them out and I've reheated them with my heat tool. And the reason I've reheated them is so that all of the little embellishments, like this little band here, will stick to them and they won't uh, roll around. That'll be a lot easier for you to work with. Here I have just a little strip of friendly plastic. It's a little strip of a piece of white that I have left over from another project. And I'm simply going to cut off the little strips and I'm going to lay them here on the gingerbread along the line uh, of his legs and then right here at his arm. Now we're going to embellish this. I'm going to embellish this with a little heart and to create the heart I have a little triangle of the red friendly plastic here. I'm just going to simply lay that right down the front. Now I know this looks a little odd, it doesn't look like a heart yet, but we're actually going to apply heat with the oven method. And I'll show you how to make this look like a heart once this has been heated. But for right now, we're just setting it in place. I also have a little tiny square of red. It's the same color of red that I used for the heart. And I'll place it right there. And some little tiny triangles of green right there. Once you have your pieces embellished and arranged, you can gently tap this with a little bit of heat just to set those in. And then we're going to put this into an oven at 200 degrees. And you'll want to check this every minute or so. Now while it's in the oven, this is what the oven does. It kind of rounds off the corners real nice and it makes an inlay. So actually the pieces of plastic melt into one another and they become more flat. And that's what's happened here with this triangle. So in order to make it into a heart, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little straight pin and I'm just going to pull the center down. Just going to make a little line right there and that gives the illusion of a little uh, heart. Also if you want to maybe zigzag and make the icing look like it's rickrack. You can do that now. To turn these into wine glass charms, what I have here is I have a piece of memory wire, and this is ring size memory wire. And what you'll do is you will just snip off a little ring with your wire cutters. It will kind of look like a little keychain uh, after it's snipped. And then I added a few little beads. These are little seed beads. And I att attached my little charm here with a jump ring. And you can see right on top here that this will come open and you can slip that right on to your wine glass or to your glass. Now let's look at a few others that I have. Here's the gingerbread. And then I made a couple others. I made a little holly leaf and a little wreath. So this gives you an idea of some of the charms that you can make using friendly plastic. Now let's take a look at our finished project. Wasn't that a great little project? 
If you're new to Friendly Plastic, be sure to check us out on the blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. There's lots of information there for you to learn how to use Friendly Plastic, lots of eye candy, lots of inspiration, and there's free projects there. That's going to do it for this episode of Friendly Plastic TV. I look forward to seeing you back on another episode as I share another great project. And until then, make your plastic fantastic.